Children encounter life-changing situations every day, whether they realize it or not. It could be something as simple as learning to walk, throwing a ball, or reading a book. In some cases, children can also encounter adversity as well, such as the divorce of their parents, the loss of a loved one, or living with a disability. Overcoming these personal challenges can help a child live a more productive and meaningful life. For the kids who feel limited because of their physical disability, there is an organization that can help find their potential. The Shriners organization achieves just that goal. Located throughout North America, the Shriners Hospital for Children, a network of pediatric specialty hospitals, treats patients under the age of 18 without any regard to race or religion. Giving excellent medical care, these hospitals are dedicated to children who need treatment for orthopedic care, severe burns, or spinal cord injury. The Shriners is a fraternity of men. We're just under 500,000 Shriners throughout North America. Uh, it's been founded over 135 years ago, and uh, 50 years after it was founded on fun and fellowship, they decided to get a little bit more serious and decided to, uh, uh, to open up a network of children hospitals. There's now 22 Shriners hospitals throughout North America, uh, including a hospital in Mexico City as well as Montreal, Canada. That's what it's all about, is to, is to be able to help the kids and hope that they'll get a lot better than they are. Sam's a school teacher. He can read. Look at here. At the 2006 National Junior Disability Championships, hosted by the Tampa Shriners Hospital and the new Tampa YMCA, disabled athletes ranging in ages 7 to 21 were given the opportunity to showcase their abilities in different events. These events held in Olympic-style venues included track and field, pentathlon, bocce, swimming, archery, table tennis, three-on-three -three basketball, and weightlifting. Some of these kids will be leaving the games with medals and trophies. However, all of them will be leaving with much more. This is a story about three athletes who would not let their physical disabilities keep them from reaching the finish line. I finally did something I've been wanting to do for half my life, and now I can do it. So it feels great, and you can accomplish something. Although Hannah was born with an underdeveloped left leg, it has not kept her on the sidelines. She doesn't feel that it makes her different from anyone else. It doesn't matter because I can do every single thing that they can. So for me, it's just like I can do anything. Sports are so much fun too because you can meet friends and you can get something good at it. It kind of gives you this whole other side of you. Push, push, push! Every athlete needs a good coach, and Hannah feels that she gets the support she needs from her athletic leader, Gwenna Herman. Gwenna Herman and Jerry Herman, they have helped me so much as I've improved in my skills, and it helps me every single day. Hannah does have a lot of potential, and she's, she's getting that same drive and desire to, to be on top and work hard. All right, just one, two, one, two, one, finish. During Hannah's competition, she usually competes against other disabled athletes, but sometimes during her swimming events, some of her contenders are able-bodied. So how does Hannah feel about whether or not she's at an advantage or a disadvantage with the other swimmers? It feels great because it doesn't really matter to me because I know so much about swimming. So for me, I just do it and then I just do the best I can. Having been diagnosed with proximal femoral focal deficiency, or PFFD, it does not stop Hannah from becoming a heavy competitor in the sports room. So I can do every single sport that I want to do. For fellow athletes with or without disabilities, this is what Hannah has to offer. It doesn't matter like how you're built or anything, it just matters like you have fun and you just do what you can the best. <laughs> At the 2007 National Junior Disability Championships, Hannah will be one of the first players for Team Bennett Blazers to introduce the new sport, race running. Pioneered from Denmark, this event is an athletic discipline where the athlete is running with their feet while using a three-wheeled running frame for support of their body. Hannah has also found the inspiration to participate in sports through her older sister. Mark. 
I try every sport because I love being active, so nothing can really stop me. Tatiana was born with spina bifida, which is an opening in the spine that causes the messages being sent to the brain to be blocked. Being an athlete has helped Tatiana build her confidence. It has also helped to break down stereotypes of people in wheelchairs. I think it makes me a stronger person, and I'm so thankful for my life now. Tatiana's always been a kid that nothing's ever held her back. I mean, when she was first adopted, she basically had to work, walk on her arms. She didn't have a wheelchair. So I was coming to the United States and getting involved with Shriners. She was able to have some surgeries, um, get a wheelchair, and that's when she came to me. And from then on, she just started to blossom. She, she wanted to try anything that was out there. I remember when Tatiana was like eight or nine years old, she wanted to skate standing up like everybody else. So we, we stacked on long leg braces on her, and I put her on the ice. And it's just she's always wanted to do everything, and sometimes just to try it. And once she tries it, she's done. She's realized, okay, I've tried this. This isn't the way I'm going to do something. Um, I'm going to tackle the next thing. Um, Tatiana is just a great athlete. She has a lot of um, just natural athletic potential. But more importantly, she has the drive and the desire that she wants to be on top. So she's a very hard worker. And what does Tatiana think of her athletic mentors? They have been great. I mean, they're like part of my family. They help me out with everything, and they help me um, become a better athlete. Tatiana has become a standout performer on the basketball court and in the pool, but her biggest accomplishments have occurred on the track. At the 2004 Paralympic Games in Greece, Tatiana was the youngest member of the team. It was there she won the silver in the 100 meters and a bronze in the 200 meters. Last row. I love the competition. I couldn't do any other sports, and I didn't want to be involved with drama or like chess or anything. So, um, and I love track, and I really wanted to meet new people, and um, and we all share the same interest, running. And so, I thought it would be um, a lot of fun and a great experience. And what advice does she have to offer other athletes? Just kind of get out there and do it. Do what you love. Tatiana's love for sports and competition is shared by another athlete. When you work hard for one thing and you go and compete and you know that that hard work is paying off, it's kind of like an enjoyment you feel about yourself, about everybody, about personally yourself, feeling that you can do this and how far you can go. Juan suffers from an unknown disability which is similar to spina bifida in that it blocks the nerve messages to his legs. Although Juan has dealt with his condition since birth, he is determined to meet life's challenges. I not only have to compete with other swimmers, the big ones that are out there, but I also have to compete with myself, see how far I can go. Because it's all the mind game. It's all about what, how far you can go and how far you're willing to go because swimming is about dedication, persistence, and willing to go as far as you want. I taught myself how to swim, and I thought it was pretty cool how they do I see people on the TV and everything. So I kind of like, why not try it? Why not in? I'm here right now. <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen. Juan's specialty is swimming, which can be difficult for him due to the fact that he cannot use his lower extremities whereas those who are able-bodied can use their legs to help propel them through the water. Not a big difference between disabled and able-bodied because if you can swim, everybody's free on the water. Just that they're faster doesn't mean you cannot go as fast as them. You're just willing to try and keep harder and try to catch up to them. So that, is, that also inspires me. And I, I really don't, don't think that being disabled or being able-bodied, there's a lot, lot of difference, really. I think that it's just all in your mind. Swimming is not Juan's only sport. I like basketball. I think basketball is a really mm, ex ex exciting sport. It brings a lot of, 
out of you, you know, it's an inter more interactive game. You can play more, you can interact yourself. But I'll pick that as a hobby. My thing is swimming. And as far as Juan's swimming ability goes... Some people think of a disabled person like paralytic, that they cannot do a lot, that they are just stuck into a wheelchair and they can, cannot do anything. Some people think that, some people don't. So the people that do, I just like to prove them wrong. And one person Juan does not need to prove his athletic abilities to is his coach. He really wants to accomplish a lot. He wants to be a really good swimmer, and so he pushes himself. He is a role model. He's gotten so many awards. So what inspires Juan to get out there and give all he's got? My parents and my family. Those are the ones that inspire me the most because those are the ones that I give thanks to every day because if it wasn't for them, really, I, I wouldn't even be close to here. Really, they're, they're the ones that always push you to, they push me to go, they have told me, and they have inspired me also to keep going and keep winning. So if, if I have to thank and God, give all my work to somebody, it's to my parents. Oh, really? From this one? Yeah. Juan is looking into the near future, aiming himself to participate in the 2008 Paralympic Games in Beijing, China. Later on, he would like to obtain a swimming scholarship and attend college. These young athletes and many more like them can thank an organization like the Shriners for helping them achieve what others thought they could not do. Through donations and other charitable services, the Shriners are able to provide a somewhat normal life to young kids who may not otherwise have had a chance. They always care about anybody, and so it just felt nice that a crew of people that can actually care about us. They do so much stuff for everybody, so it's just it's nice to have someone to do, that, some people to do that. We strengthen our philanthropy simply by participating in the various uh, Shriners awareness types of activities, NJDC being one of those activities. We're here today to support the kids, to cheer them on. Hopefully uh, some of them are going to be luckier than others taking home trophies, but all these kids are winners. When I came to America, my legs were behind my back, and so I needed to straighten them out so I can help me walk. and. They helped me build strengths because I got therapy after that, and so they helped me change my life around so I could race. As uh, Shriners, not only are we uh, always on the lookout and, and want to watch for the health care of children, but we like to have an involvement and be out in the community to show our uh, support for the children as well. Shriners is a, a great organization. Most of the kids have gotten their wheelchairs, their braces um, from the Shriners. They will get the children to get involved in sports. They want to see them because they know that with the sports involvement, that will bring them less to Shriners for medical reasons. Um, so sports is just a really big part of the whole therapy for a disabled person. They provide the, the children with the opportunity to be able to be successful in their life. Um, get them in the best physical positions, whether it's surgery. Like, Canna actually had a, a foot on the end of her stump. So that needed to be surgically removed so that she could then go into a prosthetic and be able to work. I mean, with, without that, she wouldn't have been, she wouldn't been able to walk um, and things like that. I mean, they just provide the kids with the opportunities that they need to reach their fullest potential. The Shiners was one of the first place I went to for my disability. They accepted me as their as their patient, and from there on, they have been wonderful. I mean, the Shiners is a facility that helps everybody. They're, they're, they always have their heart on what's good, and they always want to help other kids become better and try to help them out. Personally, to me, they have helped me because they gave, gave me everything, you know. If I need crutches, if I need braces, if I need anything that they can provide me, they will. And not only that, but they also, they were the ones that told me to come and join a sport. They're the ones that showed me to, why, do, why only do this? You can also do more things. And they were the ones that inspired me to come and swim also. Mm -hmm.